UBA, as you know, is a Pan-African bank, operates in Nigeria, 18 other African countries, in London, in New York, and in Paris. We think that there are a lot more opportunities on the African continent and globally today that if we can harness all the expertise, experience, and skills we have together, we'll be able to create and surpass investors' expectations of UBA. Now, what lessons in corporate governance have you learned since your departure as the group CEO of the bank? A lot of lessons. One, I've always been a corporate governance person, but I've seen even a greater need for corporate governance and trade management and organization. Two, as I believe you know, we took over Transcore in about, about two years ago. When we took over Transcore two years ago, the stock price of Transcore was 51 Kobo. Today, about two years after we took over Transcore, stock price is about 6 naira. So you just imagine the kind of wealth and value we have created for shareholders. I want to do the same thing, working with the talented executive team at GBA and the great board that we have in place. That is what I've learned. What I've learned that turnaround, I want us to add it to what GBA is today so that we can continue to excite the investors in UBA. Now, what are your strategic focus for UBA moving forward? I'm not the CEO. The CEO drives the strategy. The boss approves the strategy and provides a high level of guidance. So the CEO and his team, they have launched a project Alpha with a three-year target to make UBA the leading financial services group in Nigeria and a leading financial services group across Africa. My job as the chairman of the bank, based on my experience, is to make sure I work with the CEO and his team to realize this. How would you balance your new roles as the chairman of UBA with your activities in Hess Holdings in Transcore as well as Tony Lumelu Foundation? Transcore is, in, is the largest indigenous and Nigerian conglomerate. UBA is a financial services space and uh, the foundation is my other my calling, my, what I like to do, my essence today, to give to society and to, to, to help create a better Africa through entrepreneurship and my belief in African capitalism. So they, they don't conflict. If anything, they all work together. I see what I know now about African capitalism, about long-term investing and how I can help to solve economic problems for the continent being brought to bear in driving uh, UBA. Why are you funding the Kofi Annan and the Obasanjo Foundation. You said it all. The Tony Lumelu Foundation had just extended grants to Mbeki Foundation, the John Kufokan Foundation, Kofi Annan Foundation, and President Obasanjo Foundation because they believe in entrepreneurship. They believe in the future of the continent via the youth. So we, the, my foundation believes that the, the trans, true and sustainable transformation of the African continent would largely come or be driven by entrepreneurship. And you have to catch them young, mentor them, and develop them. They become entrepreneurs, and you support them through various schemes that we put in place. So the way we see these four foundations of our statesmen, elder statesmen, helps to mold, shape the future entrepreneurs that we want to support. So I see what they are doing as fantastic.